Hi, welcome to the Ease Us channel. Today, we're tackling a common issue faced by many users, a clone hard drive not booting. If you're cloning your hard drive to upgrade or replace your disk and find that it doesn't boot, this tutorial is for you. This video will cover the most effective methods to fix this and make your clone drive bootable again. A computer may not boot if the partition style of the source and target disk is mismatched. Make sure to check if there's a conflict between your disk partition styles, MBR, and GPT. First, check the partition style of your disks by opening Disk Management. Right-click on your source disk and select Properties. Under the Volumes tab, you'll find whether it's MBR or GPT. Repeat this process for the destination disk. If the partition styles don't match, use EZS Partition Master to convert your target disk to match the source. You can easily convert MBR to GPT or vice versa. Once converted, restart the cloning process to ensure a smooth transfer. Converting your disk to the correct partition helps you deal with boot issues after cloning, especially if you're transitioning from BIOS to UEFI boot modes or vice versa. Sometimes your cloned disk won't boot because your system is missing critical drivers. This is especially common when migrating to a new hard drive or SSD. Running the DISM tool will help you install the necessary drivers and make your disk bootable. Here's how to use it. Search for CMD in the Start menu, right-click it, and select Run as Administrator. In the Command Prompt window, type DSM Online Cleanup Image Restore Health. Press Enter to execute the command. This may take some time as it scans and repairs your system files. Once complete, restart your computer and check if the disk boots properly. Running the DSM command ensures that any missing drivers or corrupted system files are restored, which can resolve boot issues after cloning. If your clone drive still won't boot, you may need to manually set it as the boot drive in your system's BIOS settings. Let's go through the steps. Restart your computer and enter the BIOS by pressing F2, F12, or delete. Go to the boot section using the arrow keys. Set your new clone drive as the primary boot device. Save the changes and exit the BIOS. Your computer should now boot from the clone hard drive. Ensuring that your new drive is set as the primary boot device is a crucial step in the cloning process. Without this, your system might continue trying to boot from the old drive. If none of the above solutions work, there must be an issue in the cloning process. An incomplete clone can prevent the disk from booting. If only the system drive or files were cloned, your PC won't boot from the new disk. Restarting the cloning process is the quickest and easiest way to resolve this issue. Here is how to restart the cloning process using EaseUS Disk Copy. The software guarantees a complete and bootable clone. Download and install EaseUS Disk Copy from the official website. You'll find the link in the description. Open EaseUS Disk Copy and select Disk Mode to clone your entire disk. Choose the source disk that you want to clone. Now, select the destination disk, which should be at least the same size or larger than the source disk. Click Proceed, and the cloning process will start. Ensure your new disk is properly connected. Once the process is complete, the next step is to make sure your system boots from the new disk. Make sure to change the boot sequence in the BIOS to ensure your computer starts from the cloned disk. So, to recap, convert your disk to the correct partition style to match your system's requirements. Run the DSM command to install missing drivers. Set the new disk as the boot drive in BIOS. If nothing else works, consider restarting the clone that's it for today's video. Hopefully one of these methods helped you resolve the clone hard drive boot issue. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tech tutorials. Thanks for watching.